Hey loves, welcome into the reading. Welcome into the channel. I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope this message finds you doing the best. Okay, the best. Let's go ahead and get into it. So we're going to kind of pick up where we left off with for um, the reading we did on Wednesday, where we're realizing um, that God is calling out this group that thought they had a bright idea to destroy the chosen. And the divine says the gig is up. Okay, the gig is up. Throwback Thursday. What's up, y'all? Welcome in. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is. Like I said, I hope this finds you doing the best. Okay, um, divine says that they were using a sacred object or heirloom um, that is yours, that belonged to you. And they were doing some really freaky deaky things with it, um, trying to cast an illusion uh, or a spell. Okay. Um, for some, they made love to this sacred object. This sacred object could have been a binky. Like if you guys had a blanket um, that you, you know, really loved or you slept with all the time, or even a stuffed animal. Um, for some, it's a diary that you keep or kept. Okay, um, they slept with it, they rubbed on it, they caressed it sexually. Yes, I know. It sounds weird. It sounds strange. But for some, this is somebody's strange addiction. Okay, um, they have an obsession with you. And their strange addiction was to possess something that you once held in your hand or kept with you. Um, and... carry out lewd sexual acts as it relates to this item, okay? Um, keep in mind, this is not for the 18 and below, so please be 18 and above as you're in here listening to this reading. But anyway, Spirit says the gig is up, okay? Um, your essence is what they were calling upon and using, okay, in order to be able to uh, attach themselves to your light, all right, God is about to mirror the energy that they were projecting onto you right back to them. Okay, they're going to be reflecting the curse or the spell. God is going to reflect this curse or spell right back on them. Okay, so I was explaining that they were casting an illusion of a shadow and they were putting you in the shadow and then they were standing and walking in your light. Okay. The shadow for them, <clears throat> the shadow for them was all of their insecurities, their abandonment issues, their disdain and dislike for themselves, their insufficient funds, their sinister thoughts and feelings and emotions toward you and others their anger, their ugly truth, okay? They were projecting all of that into their shadow and making you stand in it while they would take your light and stand in your light, standing in your truth, acting as if passing it off as if it were theirs, okay? The divine says you are stronger than all of them because it was multiple people that were doing this and they were using your essence to stand in your light, okay? while casting the shadow on you, projecting all the negative energy onto you. But the thing is, you are stronger than all of them smashed together. Even if they took, even if God, God showed me this, God says, even if I took all of the light of yours that they are trying to emulate and I smashed them together, he says that one energy is still dysfunctional up against your true authentic, pure light, okay? Individually, you're stronger than them because already, just think about it, somebody that has to go as low as putting a curse or a spell on you or casting some type of an illusion to pretend to be you just to steal your power. Come on now, where is the power in that, okay? They could consider themselves master magicians, okay? But the thing is, that's sorcery and it's it's false it's a falsity it's fake it's not something that lasts forever whereas your true authentic self will live on you're immortal um so it's a vibe where you're, you they'll never be a match for that no matter how well they can fake it 
they will never be it, okay? Um, it's a vibe where the divine says on an individual level, you are more powerful than them. And even if you smashed all of them together and stood up against them, you're still more powerful than them, okay? As a unit. So God says that they wanted you to be dysfunctional, okay? They wanted you to be dysfunctional. They wanted you to be insecure. They wanted you to show up low, low feeling low, feeling less than, feeling insecure, feeling insufficient. Financial-wise, they wanted you to lose money. They wanted you to be discouraged. They wanted you to cower away, crawl into a hole, be unseen, okay? The truth is, everything that I listed is actually their truth. It's actually how they truly, truly feel on the inside, okay? Um, they wanted you to be disliked. They wanted you to be ugly. They wanted you to be seen as hideous, okay? They sent you their insecurities. They sent you their abandonment. They attempted to make you appear unworthy, undesirable, weak, and impoverished. God allowed you to take your power back, okay? And it's causing them, leaving them to stand in their own reflection. As the divine showed me this, he showed me a mirror literally be held up to these people. Some of these people, I could see the creatures that they turned into when, when the light hit them. I could also see for some that they won't survive. These people are fully aware, okay, already of what is going on. They're already aware of the harm that they have brought, the shame that they have brought to their bloodline, okay? Ra, share your gift. Baba Yaga, patience, okay? Take your time. Take your time in this season. Take your time. The gig is up. They've lost control. Even when I was in this vision, I saw this I received this download. It's like I was able to see each one of them individually. And I called my energy back from all of them. It's like they were having a seance. They were sitting in a circle and just really, really trying to call my energy to them and still my essence. And I called my energy back. It was somewhat of a power struggle where I took my energy back from them in that moment. One of them in particular tried to take the power that was coming back to me and swallow it <laughs> and i pulled it from their belly and i took my power back so you're going to be taking your power back viewers okay from the adversary from rivals from the opposition okay you're going to be taking your power back. High Priestess of Atlantis. At the bottom of the deck, there's always enough. Okay? So, let's get into it. For Thursday, I don't know why I want to say Friday, but for Thursday, Throwback Thursday. Share your gift. Yeah, there's some type of interference that wants to try to distract you, okay? But see, you have you have your ancestors here, okay? You have your ancestors here that are protecting you. There's something that doesn't want you to share your gift. It doesn't want you to spread whatever words of whatever you're saying. They don't want you to talk about it. They don't want you, I'm telling you, they want you to just disappear. And that's why they were trying to get you to fade into the shadow, Get people to see you in a negative light. They didn't want people to see you for who you truly are. Instead, they wanted to pretend to be you, act like they were you, and then steal your light, okay? These people could have been mocking you, mimicking you, Leo, shine, but they're being exposed. The more you show your gift, the more you are exposing these energies. The more these energies cannot hide, okay? Baba Yaga, patience. 
for Thursday. Thank you, Spirit. What's the message for Thursday? You are to be seen. You are not to be hidden in anybody's shadow. Okay? These people have the attitude of like they created you, which they didn't. God created you. Okay? Um, they have this energy of like, if I can't have you, nobody can. They have this energy of, I'm going to take, take, take what you have. They want to take from you, Capricorn, achieve, okay? They want to take your success. They want to take your achievements. They want to take whatever ideas you have. They want to take things that are going to make you a success. They want to take that, okay? Aries, high priestess, act. They want to act like you, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we have Libra. Oh, but the scales are being balanced. There's always enough. They want you to feel like or have a scarcity mindset. They want you to feel insufficient, unworthy, ill-equipped, okay? But do they not realize? I feel like these people don't realize like they're nothing without that illusion. If that illusion wasn't a thing, if they didn't have access to magic or to be able to do this spell or that spell, people would really see like who they truly are. But I feel like that's the best what's about to happen. Because for some reason, I'm getting this vibe where they're not going to have access to the magic. Or something about the magic isn't, isn't a success, okay? The gig is up. I am a champion, spiritually rich as fuck. This level of wealth required the courage to heal. Healing ain't easy. You're heavily connected and well respected is what I'm hearing, okay? Leo. So it's a vibe here with Capricorn that whatever they're trying to achieve... With the help of your ancestors, the connections that you have to the cosmos and to the cosmic realm, the spiritual realm, the divine realm, and to God, it's a vibe where they are no match. And when God says the gig is up, the gig is truly up. For some reason, I just get this vibe where they can't tap into the things that they used to be able to tap into, the tools of the magician, to fake it till they make it. They don't have that access anymore. That is being stripped from them. By the divine is what I just heard, okay? So it says, give me a chance by Dreamer is Silomia. And it says, hello, Friday. You are a force. I'm a force, okay? I feel like they've met a force to be reckoned with here. Funding your vessel for success, prestigious. May your days be merry and bright. And then it says, never lost the battle. Goat, go, goat, okay? Goat, go. It says, I am super strength, five, five, five. That's when they were saying, God was confirming for me right there, that, yeah, they're not a match for you. You're stronger than them. You overpower them, okay? It says, shorty is a 10. And I came on here saying something about being 10. Take it as it resonates, okay? But um, anyway, shorty is a 10 by the dream. I feel a little scattered. I feel like I should have did this reading earlier, but it's okay. Because the message is still going to get out, honey pie. Okay? It's still going to get out. Somebody could have wanted a chance with you. And you didn't give this person a chance. Or you did and they fumbled the ball. And they tried to attack you another way. They tried to attack you. But the gig is up. They're about to be reflect. They're about to face their own reflections. Y'all remember that movie, is it called Cats or Witches? I think it's called Witches, where that little boy goes to the conference of the witches and everybody takes their wig off in there and they all have these big nose and moles and um, uh, they're, they look old and decrepit. And uh, they turn him into a rat or a mouse or something like that. It's something like that that's happening, okay? Where these, they're, someone's being turned into a, a mouse or a rat. Another is being turned into some other type of creature. It's a lot of creature energy, okay? This could be a group of witches that did this. But one of them is going to be turned into a creature some type of way. It sounds weird, I know, but 
Here's what it is. What does this say? So it says forgiveness is needed. They could be asking you for forgiveness. Or you need to forgive these people. At the end of the day, you have the advantage here. Okay? You have the advantage. You're more powerful than them because you have God. And the gig is up. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you next time. Bye.